Rob Sharp's one stock you like in the T. Rowe Price large cap growth fund is Amazon. That stock's up over 100% so far this year. And tis the season for Amazon. So tell me about how Amazon's going to do this Christmas season. Well, we anticipate that their retail business will do quite well this Christmas. Uh, but our thesis is really based much more on their success in cloud computing uh, with Amazon Web Services, uh, the business that we think will do about $8 billion of revenue this year uh, in the most recent quarter, uh, growing uh, well north of 50% uh, with 20% margins. Uh, it's a huge market opportunity over time, and we think they have a long lead on the competition. So you know, over a multi-year time horizon, we think that business alone uh, can justify a value that approaches the current enterprise value of the entire company. And you're also positive on Google, or should I say Alphabet, knee Google, that stock is up over 40% this year. Uh, the addition of Ruth Porat as CFO really gave the company some financial discipline, and Wall Street seemed to like that. So what's the company going to do in 2016? Well, um, starting uh, in January of this year, we're going to get some new disclosure, uh, thus the name change from Google to Alphabet where they're going to break out uh, the core businesses as well as uh, the other businesses, which include uh, some of their uh, self-driving car and other initiatives that are away from the core internet properties. Uh, we think that'll give investors a better picture of uh, the growth and profitability of those core businesses. And, you know, and hopefully people will be able to still ascribe some value to what they're doing in life sciences, self-driving automobiles, et cetera, even though they're not currently generating profits. All right, you are also constructive on Anthem. That stock's up around, I think, about 8% so far this year. So why Anthem? Why not Aetna or Cigna? It's been such a busy space this year. Why this particular healthcare benefits provider? Well, we're bullish on the space as a whole. Um, I like each of the names that you mentioned. Uh, Anthem is my favorite. Uh, we like their position in 14 states as the, the Blue Cross Blue Shield provider. Uh, we think that gives them a benefit. Uh, the valuation is a little bit more attractive than, say, a United Healthcare. It trades at about 10 times what we think they'll do on a standalone basis in 2017. Uh, they also have some optionality to increase the economics of their PBM business. Uh, they have an arrangement with Express Scripts that could be altered in their favor. And uh, additionally, we like the deal with Cigna. Uh, the ARB spreads are wide. The market's skeptical with regard to whether that deal will ultimately be approved and consummated. But if it is, we think that it could be meaningfully, you know, kind of double-digit accretive uh, over the course of a couple years. All right, and then finally, you like Textron. That stock's essentially flat so far this year. Do you think the Paris attacks uh, are going to add to defense budgets, and in, in the end, this will help Textron? Uh, our thesis there is more on the commercial aviation side um, surrounding Cessna. Um, business jets in the U.S. Um, you know, kind of really have been quite weak uh, since the global financial crisis. We see some firming uh, uh, in uh, the used prices in, in prices in the used market. Uh, we think CEO Scott Donnelly's got the margin structure there, you know, kind of really ready to respond to a pickup in orders. And they're about to go through a product cycle. They'll be launching uh, over the course of three years or three or four years several new planes. Uh, this year, they're starting to get delivery of the latitude. Uh, in 17, they'll do the new citation longitude. And longer term, they're moving into the large cabin market with the hemisphere. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Rob. Thank you. Thank you for watching the street.